So how about I've been making French onion soup for like the past hour and my onions are still not caramelized. French onion soup is time consuming. If you guys don't know, not for you guys who are like cooking impaired like I used to be. Let me tell you something about some French onion soup. These onions literally have been in that pan, the sauna, for like an hour. 45 minutes, maybe, minimal. And they're just now getting down to like, you know, broken down, nice and French onion and knee. And we're getting there, slowly but surely. So, um, I'm not sure what this, this video is supposed to be about. But I'm just going to scroll through. Um, oh, it's going to be about Beyonce. So, did y'all hear about the class? There's a school. Um, Rutgers University is offering a class on Beyonce. Now, here's a gotcha gotcha. Am I surprised? No, because there was a couple of years back, a, I don't remember what the university was, that offered a class on Lady Gaga and pop culture. So, I'm not really surprised that Beyonce, a class on Beyonce is coming soon to a university near you. Um, I'm not sure it was going to be at like a university near you, so don't quote me on that. But I know for sure Rutgers University is having a class on Beyonce. And it's going to discuss like feminism and um, sexism and, you know, women's rights in the um, music industry and things like that. It's going to be a pretty, it sounds like... A pretty respectable class. Like, I'll take it. I'll take the shit for some credit, okay? Um, and a lot of people are upset. Now, here's why uh, Here's why they're upset. I don't find any damn reason in their upsetness, but I'll tell you why this. They're upset because they feel like their tax dollars are being paid to a teacher to teach a class on Beyonce. They think when they hear that the class is essentially surrounded around Beyonce, they think they're going to be like learning about how she was running around a block in six inch heels when she was 12. That's not what we're going to be teaching in the class, people. We're going to be teaching women's studies and economics and standards of living with women and stuff like that. They're going to make it sound really academic wise for the people with tax dollars. They are pissed. But why are you so pissed? Like, why are you so pissed? Like, people need to know about pop culture, I believe, because it's something that's very important. Like, the world runs on, like, even, like, stuff that we don't even know is pop culture is pop culture. Like, this bag of Doritos. There's pop culture somewhere in this bag. Oh. You can't just eat one Dorito. I'm sorry. But... Where did you get this logo from? Pop culture. Um, I'm going to fuck these Doritos up when this video is over. You have no chance, bad. Pop culture is all around us, all on TV, all on social media. You can't get around without being consumed, if you will. Not maybe consumed, but you at least encounter some part of pop culture within your day at least once, if not more than once. So it's something that people need to know about. And I believe there should be more classes on that's focused <clears throat> on celebrities. But it's like a broader aspect of it. You know, they tie in women's rights and sexism and stuff like that. All while being focused on Beyonce's career and tying all these things onto it. I think it's a very good idea, actually. <clears throat> like I said, it would get me to take the class. And I can't stand college. So that says a lot. So I'm down for the um, pop culture classes. Give me a class on Kesha. I'll be there all day. And the um, the effects of alcohol. Because, you know, Kesha likes to drink. I like to drink too. So I'll take that class. Um, Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Are you here or there? Here for it or not here for it? Let me know what you guys think. I love you guys for watching.